So everybody, this is a brand new, brand new, brand new, brand new. Well, of course it's brand new, cause yeah, it's not the last one. Uh another uh, vlog. Uh, coming in a little late and ready to go to fuck to bed. But <clears throat> um, talk to you guys for a second. Um, cause what I'm about to say is actually going to kind of lead me into a lot of what is about to come. So. You guys know that I'm extremely fucking behind on doing the uh, personality uh, shots and whatnot. Because it's like I've been trying to <clears throat> like really come up with a script and everything else. And I'll kind of let you know where that's going with two backstories. So when I first got to uh, North Carolina, um, I had to go to assist training which is applied suicide intervention skill training. And it's in the view it's pretty much it is what it is. It's a a class on um not only prevention for suicide but intervention. But it was a it was some it's training I already went that I already I did in Korea, but you know, did it again. It you know, wasn't bad and it was actually great because I learned that uh there was an update to the program. <laughs> so I mean that was actually good because i if i didn't know that i would possibly you know kind of screw myself over not knowing that <laughs> there was such an update because <laughs> you know uh kind of giving out the wrong information is not a good thing but during the um training and if you guys hear any noise that is my fan you know so sorry i do get hot and i know y'all probably give me like boy you not over at the studio i got it but still hot <laughs> um but during the um the class you're supposed to pair up and both people are supposed to take turns one being the person uh intervening the other person contemplating suicide and you know like i said i don't know if i ever said this i think i have i've done acting back when i was in high school i even wrote a, wrote a play i was like my uh part of my well no that actually was my senior project Rarely enough, it probably should have been something math-related. Hindsight being fucking 2020. But I loved acting, especially with how fucked up my childhood was, and even a lot of my teenage years. I, I, I just enjoy being able to escape my life and become someone else. Like, literally take on a brand new persona, change of clothes, like, literally embody somebody else. Hopefully y'all y'all not looking at me like motherfucker your ass is crazy. But I think we already know this about me, you know. So I don't know if is me knowing that I'm fucking crazy and all saying like does that make me insane or psychotic? Y'all let me know. But um, so I did my my acting paired up with a gentleman and it was one of those where it was crazy because um the instructors kind of was just like, do you two know each other? Because <laughs> it was one of those where it's like, the chemistry between he and I, it was so fucking organic. I was like, I don't know if we're getting fucking paint, but it was one of those where, you know, rank structure, he outranks me, so the story that I took on, it actually worked, you know, where it's just like, you know, somebody kind of talking to me like, look, man, it's going to be, co okay, this, that, third, but it was one of those where, like, I literally had to take myself to another place to give this performance, and it was crazy because everybody was just like, that shit was fucking believable. And I'm just like, well, thank you. <laughs> so, fast forward to yesterday, because I actually meant to record this yesterday, but I did not. Uh, yesterday, well, I'm actually uh, in a class for um, administering your analysis and things of that nature. Uh, something that uh, when I get done with this portion of my life, which if I decide to even do this, having these credentials will be very good. Don't want to count my uh, chickens before they hatch because I have to actually pass the examination on Friday. But I believe um, in God. Y'all will get this after the fact. <laughs> but I'm just going to imagine that we're going to touch and agree that I'm going to pass this damn test. <laughs> yeah. But I know all is going to work out. So, but anyway. Uh, we had to give a class, well, it was one of those where it was so random because we found out Monday, because today's Wednesday, if I didn't already say that, we found out Monday that we were going to be put into groups, and that Tuesday, the very next day, which was yesterday, that we would have to, uh, give group, um, like, group presentations, and it was one of those where it was so fucking random, such a short amount of time, and we had, 
I forget the name of it. I think it was like Raphanol or some shit like that. If I remember, I will try to have it on the screen. But it's pretty much the date rape drug. So we were trying to figure out like how we're going to do it. And I'm like, well, we can do this with a skit. Like, we still have to kind of go through the motions of explaining everything. I'm like, we can do this shit with a skit. And everyone's like, well, how do we do it? Now, y'all know. <laughs> this motherfucker right here ain't got no motherfucking chill. And at the same exact time, it's just like, I I really do like to be very carefree. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to move past, you know, the hood side and the hood shit. I'm trying to move past all the anger, the hurt, the somewhat, you know, and I'm just going to be keeping 1,000 with y'all, the, the demonic, you know, thoughts that I have sometimes. And I'm going to just leave it there because I don't ever want some shit to happen. And then I accidentally incriminate myself by saying this shit. I ain't trying to be candy birds. Just saying. But <laughs> but it's like trying to leave that behind and really just trying to stay in just a happy place, being, you know, just in good spirits. And, you know, it, it's like, and even kind of with a lot of what I'm trying to do, it's just like stay in a good place and keep my blood pressure low. And so I decided, fuck it. I would be the fucking person to, you know, carry the story. I'm just like, 90% of it I will take on. And we can pretty much do improv because I think that's like some of the purest comedy or not even just comedy, just like some of the purest acting in my opinion is because it's like a lot and when I say like 90% would be me having the dialogue and me carrying the story but 90% of the overall skit would be improv the only thing the only 10% that we left was one they were the 10% and the other 10% of the overall thing because 90% would be improv is just like staging, blocking, and just knowing certain cues, you know, where they would do this, and when it was clear they stopped talking, this person would go and do whatever, and and like I said, I, I haven't been a private in fucking years. Ah, uh, February 2013, to fucking be exact, we are in April of 2016, so, well, actually... No, I'm lying, because then I would have to, like, down... Look, I, I wasn't on the other side, okay? At effect of February 2013, I can't, I'm on this side. Before then, I was on the other side. And I was a private from, what, August 2008 to... I want to say July... So, July 2010 was the last time I could, you know, officially be called a private. So, you see how long ago that was, so... The whole premise is... Had a long day at work and though and we messed up because I never actually got a chance to explain what the fuck happened at work, but we don't really give a fuck about that. But the premise is two of my supervisors are already at the club drinking. It's a fucking Friday night. I got the fuck off work and I'm already buzzed before I I will Yeah, I would just say before I came into the club. So I come in the club, you know, literally it's just in a world all my own, which I stay in a galaxy all my own. So this is one which is like I'm pretty much just kinda like playing to myself. And literally it was just one of those where I'm pretty sure I've I've I'm, I've probably been this drunk before. Yo, it was pretty much just like a YOLO type of fucking moment. And they just kinda looking at me just like, the fuck are you doing here? What are you doing? And then it was just one of those, just shoot, get the fuck away. And it was one of those because it was so organic. Because it was improv, because all we really knew is we we're gonna go from his like, like you're just gonna start talking, you stop, I come in, we dialogue, and then cue me to go away, go to the bar. I start pounding away shots, you call me back over, and you know, we did this dialogue. It was the so crazy shit, like, did you put in a 41? You know, I won't do forms, but did you put in this form for this request in action? Yada, 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 you know. You know, either you go over there, I'm going to do this, and then I walk away. And it was just like, bye, Felicia. And I had to keep from fucking laughing. I was just like, that shit was funny. <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. So I go to the fuck, so I go to the fucking bar, literally just fucking taking shots, you know, shaking my ass. And I, we were, I, I was playing uh, Got to Love You by Sean Paul. I wanted <laughs> so fucking bad badly because i was actually semi doing it i couldn't really get deep deep into it because you know we still got to be professional and shit 
But I wanted to play, throw that ass in a circle. Ay! Like, and literally, me and one of the people in my group, you know, and this, this has absolutely nothing to do with race. We were the only two black people, so I, I was uh, like, I was real shit. I wanted to see it play, throw that ass in such a shit. I was just like, throw that ass in a and, and I know people was looking at us and we were talking about it. She was like, what the fuck? <laughs> sure. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I'm in a good fucking mood. I ain't gonna fucking lie. I, 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 and I ain't had a drink. <laughs> so, um, you know, so I'm at the bar drinking. And they called me back up because they just didn't see me take shots. And they was just like, you know, why don't you just go over there and holler at some girls? And, you know, it's two girls. And the backstory, because they even had their dialogue, the girls just like, Oh, he, you know, he kind of seems fucked up. Why don't we pretty much, you know, roofie him? And typically, you know, if you're roofing somebody, you're going to rape them. But we took it a different direction. And they were going to uh, pretty much get me, like, put the roofie in my drink. I take it. And pretty much when I'm unconscious, they kind of, like, drag me out behind the bar and literally just take all my money and everything. So, I go over there, you know, trying to, you know, spit game drunk and shit. You know, again, this is all acting. Because <laughs> a nigga do got game. But, um, you know, and I started flirting. And one of the girls was like, why don't we get on the dance floor? So, you know, I'm being stupid. Like, well, what are we going to do? We going to dab? We going to nay You know? <laughs> I was like, we going to cha-cha. <laughs> I can't even just think about it. She's just like, I ain't got no motherfucking chill at all. And of course, because, you know, we're trying to show being roofy, uh, I brought in some uh, big pixie sticks. So it's just one of those where, you and granted, the uh, date rape drug is more or less in a pill form. I mean, it can be crushed up, but typically it's just, you know, throw the pill in there. It's not, you know, pill dissolved. But, um, you know, and then my supervisors see it. So as I'm going back to get the drink, you know, they intervene, pull me away. And that was it. And other people had, uh, other people did skits. But it seemed like everyone enjoyed our skit the most. And again, I mean, yes, a day where you drop is, is such a serious uh, topic. But come on, you know, just make the shit for. And we actually heard from one of the instructors that someone also did like the same exact thing because it was actually date where you drove in like a club environment. That was our whole thing. And it was like somebody did the same exact thing. The only difference is there was no intervention. That person pretty much just got raped. And I don't think they really show i don't actually i wasn't in that class when they like because i think there's been like a class or two before us but apparently <laughs> you know shit didn't go well but in doing it it was just like that's actually what i want to do for my shoots because it's not like i'm it, it'd be different if i had other people playing my personalities <clears throat> then it would just be easier for me to just be one of my personalities and we all just flow but because it's me flowing with myself, it's going to make it a little bit difficult. So what I'm trying to do is have somewhat of a um, script type of uh, dialogue, but not really. Or kind of have an idea, shoot one personality all by itself, and then kind of have it play and respond to it. Like, I'm really just trying to figure out how I want to do this. Because, again, it's just like, I think what's really kind of getting me is... This is like the first that, I, of, that I'm ever doing this shit. So, and I know it's not going to be perfect. I, and I, I know the first of anything is not always going to be the greatest. I mean, again, if y'all go back and watch like my first few fucking videos, even my first in the kitchens, I know y'all going to be like, well, you have definitely stepped your shit up <laughs> since then. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot. But I think it's coming. I think everything is coming along. Um, if... I am determined to at least shoot one of the fucking personalities on Saturday. Hold on, wait, fuck. Shit. I just thought about something. I have fucking 24 hour duty. <laughs> I, I, I swear, like, I have 24 hour duty twice this fucking month. Like, shit is getting fucking crap. <sighs> How the fuck does my damn schedule look? Uh, actually, I have it Sunday. So I have 24 hour duty Sunday. So I will actually be able to record Saturday. And what I'll try to do is if everything goes well, I'll set this, well, not, yeah, this camera on the tripod up facing there. And y'all can kind of see 
bits and pieces, of course, the shit will be spit, you know, sped up. So y'all not going to literally watch me just doing whatever fuck I'm doing for however fuck alone. But kind of, you know, speed the shit up and whatnot. So, again, like I said, the whole purpose of the vlog is for y'all to just kind of see, of course, me behind the scenes. Get to know me on a personal level and sometimes get to see, you know, the shit that I'm doing. So, yeah. So, hopefully, we able to get one recorded. The only thing that's going to suck major fucking donkey balls is the fact that I have fucking duty on Sunday. Because y'all know that I do a fucking lot on Sunday. I have the training topics I have to do. Uh, which means I have to, I have to do that sober because I cannot be drunk on duty. So, I have to do that. Um, no more housewives, but shots of sunset come back. So, I have to do shots of sunset. And the Real Households of Potomac Reunion. And actually the next 15 uh, Reunion Part 2, if I'm not mistaken, is also Sunday. So that's like three fucking... Lord have mercy. That's three hours right there. So. In the event y'all did not know, yes. I love you guys. And I am dedicated. Okay, I I, I can't... Here's the thing. Also real shit. I can't speak for no one else. I cannot. But your boy is busy because I have... You know, my government duties, I have my actual fucking job. I'm not, you, we can ask in here, being a urinalysis individual, we can add this shit to the mix. I'm a fucking YouTube personality where I'm, I'm doing fucking reviews, vlogging, all types of other shit. I fucking sell Sensi. If y'all not into Sensi, check it out. Check me out. I does a lot. So, and I'm pretty sure all those who've been rocking with my ass from whenever. Because I don't even want to say it from the jump, you know. I mean, there have been some who literally been rocking my ass from the very beginning. But, you know, and I think that for those who really know and understand what I do and the sacrifices that I do make, and I'm not saying this shit for praise, so y'all don't have to get down the description bo- in the comment section saying thank you for your service. You don't have to do that. You really don't. But um, just know that, you know, this is a hobby. <laughs> Let's not get this shit to us. It is a hobby, but I do like you know, coming before you guys, and I love the therapy, even the vlogging, even though I don't do this as much as I would like to, just when I come for, even if I'm just giving y'all my fucking idea, my, not my ideas, but my fucking thoughts and opinions about the fucking bullshit reality shows that we watch, just you guys getting to see that, and I get to put bits and pieces of y'all rail into video, and it's like I can be myself for a duration, and I don't always get to be that, <laughs> so... That's it. I know I'm gonna talk y'all fucking air off, and <clears throat> I'm trying to get better. And with it warming up and all type of other stuff, it's going like I'm. Tr- I want it to be not necessarily because I have to interact with, it, with y'all. So I want to at least start incorporating more of y'all seeing me over there, y'all seeing me doing some workouts and shit, see me on my trails and whatnot. Like kind of get away from just this. And <clears throat> the inner kitchens are going to come back. And, but I will say, some things will probably just be like, if you watch the vlogs, you will probably more than like me see, just, I don't know, I'm still trying to figure shit out. And hopefully, since a lot of shit has slowed down, this is slowing down this month, I can kind of get myself put back on a regiment, but my fucking life is unpredictable, so no telling of what the fuck will happen, but that's it. Done talking y'all ears off for right now. And I guess I'll be back when the next thing comes. So it will either be some other bullshit or the results of this testing. So stay tuned. Be back. Alright, so today is May 4th. So for all my Star Wars fans, May the 4th be with you. And I know y'all probably just like, wait, hold the fuck on, bruh, man. It has been a gap <laughs> between real talk. Um, I had been uh, wanting to uh, do some recording, but I could not find um, my cord to this particular iPhone. And like I said, as y'all know, like when I'm doing my reviews, when I use this iPhone, <clears throat> I haven't uh, bust out the camera. Well, I'm not for the bus out the camera for a review because it takes too long. Granted, it is much better quality and everything, but hey, y'all already know I ain't I ain't the big man on campus when it comes to reviews and shit. Okay, it's other people 
they get their reviews out and whatnot. So, you know, even though I want, I mean, y'all still do get quality. I'm, I'm just adjusting the camera, y'all. I'm sorry. And I need to move that right there. All right. But, I mean, y'all still do get quality. <laughs> y'all do. Um, but I think y'all know what I'm saying. It's just like, hey, you know, if I really want to reach, and now here I go. I ain't talked to y'all in a hot minute. And I'm still here multitasking, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Y'all know how to. But y'all know how I do. But, um, like I said, I haven't been using that. I need to get back to it. I haven't. Uh, I didn't want to record on my phone, my regular phone, only because I was afraid that uh, files would get mixed in the shuffle. So I was like, all right, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. So, <clears throat> so in the event y'all wonder, it's like, what the fuck you been? There's that. I couldn't find a cord. I found the cord now, so that's why y'all are, you know, pretty much getting vids and whatnot. Because I done found my shit. Um, but recent developments, <clears throat> gosh, recent developments, like I said, um, by the time y'all get this, I should have already moved. Um, unfortunately, it's not the move that I wanted. Um, I was hoping that when I moved, it was going to be <clears throat> the more permanent solution. Kind of one of those on my own type of things, but no, just moving from one fucker room to another. And it is a bitch to fucking do. Like, <clears throat> I know I still need I still need to formally show y'all spending all the T-Studio and gym and all this other shit. And I think this is probably a good thing because it's forcing me to really just consolidate shit and everything else that I'm not going to use truly put the shit in storage cause and I'll be honest with you I just haven't I just did not want to make that fucking drive and it's not that it's a long drive <clears throat> but getting from where I'm at I pretty much got to travel through <clears throat> dense traffic like I got to travel through like the shopping centers area to get to where I need to get to and it's it's, be, it's better times to do the fucking uh, trip, but I'm just like, yeah. <clears throat> but more than likely, going to end up doing it this weekend. So, what's really kind of giving me uh, a little bit of heartache or heartburn, whatever we anxiety, whatever we're gonna call it, is like moving this bench. And it's not that it's heavy or whatever. It's just, well, I mean, after care because I gotta go up just one. Praise God, it's just one flight of stairs. But I got to go out my door to go out another door to take it up the stairs to go through one door, two door, three door, and then finally to the entryway and then to my new room. A lot of damn doors and shit. I also got to move these fucking um, both legs dial up weights. You know, each weight weighs, uh, if you crank it all the way to the max, is 52.5. And at this point, I'm, th I'm thanking the Lord. I did not sit here and get the hundreds. <laughs> because I'll be, because again, there's a good chance I might be moving yet again. I don't know. I really don't know. But, gotta move that shit. What else is in here that... And then I gotta move both my fucking TVs. I gotta move both of these fucking TVs. <clears throat> so, it's a lot to fucking move. Um, like I said, luckily I have time. And my plan is to try to have all the big shit and the necessary shit move by Friday night. So I can like live up there and then the rest of the shit <clears throat> just like slowly, slowly move and then whatever's left, that will be the shit that I pack up and take to storage. So more or less Saturday and Sunday, that is the plan. And then hopefully Sunday I can just get caught up on everything. That's I got two weeks worth of trending topics to do. I actually have the trending topics video from like last week that I still have to throw up and all this other shit. So I mean there's that. And then I went in to make a uh, schedule for, um, <clears throat> you know, updating my blood pressure medication. They decided, okay, we're going to do, because like I said, they, um, with the blood pressure medicine, like, it's been changed like three times. Has it been three times? Three or four fucking times. <clears throat> and we haven't had a, well, I haven't had a steady, um, this is how much, like, this is the milligrams of that third because the first thing they put me on, it started to work, but then it didn't. But I also think that, you know, along with, like, like I said, with all the shit that's going on in my life, because like I said, y'all know I wear many different fucking hats, and I got drama on every which fucking side, professional business, 
mm, you know, personal YouTube, the whole motherfucking night. I just don't get on. I just don't fucking talk about it because you know, like I said, I mean, I, though I know y'all care, it's just certain shit that I don't feel like talking about, and I don't want fucking sympathy. You feel me? Like that's just one of the things where it's like I don't ever want to sit here and be like, well, this is this is this is happening. Because you know, I, I, because you know how some people do that, or they get to fishing because they want you to know. I, I ain't that dude. Just know that I'm taking hits left to right, taking nails in certain fucking apartments and shit. And you know, it's 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 tiresome. It's tiresome. I need to put in some fucking leave and just sit the fuck back and just huh. But you know, a lot of that shit's going on. A lot of stress. A lot of anxiety. So. I went in, and they were like, okay, we're going to run a three-day blood pressure check, so when you actually come in for your appointment, you know, it's already there, rather than having to do this shit again, so they took my vitals, and I'm sitting here just like, I didn't already had caffeine this morning, I'm already worked the fuck up, I'm just sitting here like, okay, this shit finna be high, that shit was high, <laughs> it was um in the 160s. When I tell you, it was one. Of, yeah, we had to take this to the physician. Uh, yeah, they gonna talk to you. I'm just like fuck. So they ran, ran it a few more times, and I think the lowest that it got to was maybe like one forty nine. I think over ninety one, which still isn't great. <laughs> and you know, uh, just to let y'all know, because like I said I'm trying to get better, and I'll probably do a review later on but i got this uh omron um okay hold on i know y'all probably like what's that like i'm watching wrestling y'all know i like wrestling never grow up but uh this uh omron um and yeah hi y'all can see me uh machine you know to do the blood pressure and whatnot i turned it on well no i didn't i lied you know but it's not really gonna show a whole lot but you know show you the things work and and it was like sixty five dollars. The only reason why I got it, real talk, is because um, it actually has an app, and y'all finna be all in my personal business, cause y'all finna see some of these numbers. Like my shit has been high, but it will uh, send the data to my phone, which kind of makes um, you know me um, like keeping track of my shit. Like it, it's it's helping me. And it also keeps me accountable. But pretty much went in and they upped my shit. Cause they, and here's the funny thing. The first uh, shit they had me on, I forget the name of it. You know, it worked in the beginning, but it didn't. Um, then uh, and my physician was like, well, you know, um, this medication really does not work with black people. But we wanted to try it. I'm just, <laughs> just like. Where the fuck we do that at? So right now I'm on um uh, I think it's uh Norvask. So on that ten milligrams. So hopefully this works. And I was pretty much told that if this shit does not work, I gotta go back in like two two three weeks. If my blood pressure is still fucking hot, now one they told me no caffeine none of that shit before I come in, so I'm not gonna fucking do that. But it was like if your blood pressure is high. We're going to have to put you on a second medication in, in conjunction with this. I'm like, uh, no. Nah. Hell to the no, no, no. So, I am giving. I, I had to give up vaping. Like, it was going to get to a point where I was going to have to give up something. And I haven't really been vaping all that much. So, gave up vaping. And when I say I haven't been doing all this, one of those things where it's like, I would have my vape on me. And I wouldn't use it. You know? So, it wasn't just like... I was hurting for it, but having a vape is one of those where sometimes when I need that moment to just like, you know, because it's just, it's some, like, I mean, I do it for my videos, like for my training times or not, y'all, y'all see me do it. I can't use the vape anymore. Um, oh shit. Hold on. Because I, I, I swear, I don't need nothing. <laughs> I don't need nothing getting picked up on here. And it wasn't a whole lot, because I don't want nobody sitting here, you try to flap my video, like, oh my gosh, you put this in, uh, whatever. But, um, yeah, I had to pretty much do that, give that up, so. It is what it is, it ain't what it ain't. I mean, that's pretty much all that I really can say, I mean, you know, so. Done with vaping, trying to work on my motherfucking blood pressure, and doing everything I can to keep from... 
being all arg. Eventually, a lot of the shit that is going on right now, it, mostly the professional and the business shit, I'll address down the line. And again, that's only because, you know, people that I work with, they do troll my shit. And the last thing I needed for somebody to be in their feelings because I done sat here and said some shit and, you know... We all know how petty people can get and, you know, want to say and hold shit against you and you boy ain't got the time. I really don't. I don't have the time to be sitting here dealing with people and their motherfucking egos and shit or, or you mad because I done sat here and I done told the truth about some shit. And again, you know, like I said, I don't, I, I don't want to be that person that uses my social media to, I mean, because again, I mean, we all vent, but it's one of those where you can't sit here and put the shit out there and then get mad when... People have an opinion, which I do understand, but it's one of the ways, like, when it comes to certain aspects of my life, y'all don't know my life, but these motherfuckers that I work with do, or that portion of my life, so, and I think y'all get what I'm saying without me having to ramble the fuck up, I know y'all probably just like, bruh, we get it. It's pretty much just, like, the, the main shit without me, I guess, going too, too into detail about, you know, just my life, like I said, I don't want nobody to sit here. You know, be feeling sorry for me. You know, you don't need to feel sorry. Shit happens. Life happens. You feel me? It's what it is. But, yeah. So, I may be back in to, you know, just shoot the breeze a little bit later. And when I say later, I mean, like, down the line later. If there's anything else that, um, you know, I feel that... I'm not going to say y'all could benefit from, but... Just something else. If I don't, then this will be the end of the video. If I do, then, of course, there will be something else. And I'm going to do my damnedest to try to have this shit uploaded Sunday. If that's the case, then Sunday will definitely be <clears throat> a multiple upload day. Between this, the trending topics from two weeks ago, I might upload that trending topics if I have the time. Love of Hip Hop. Air Sunday, I still have to do Shots of Sunset from last Sunday, then Shots of Sunset from this Sunday, so, your boy's behind, <laughs> your boy's fucking behind, but it is what it is, so, yeah, that's all I got, <sighs> what's up everybody, uh, so, today is May 12th, <laughs> it is, uh, 8.03 in the, uh, evening, and, um, like I said, I've been all, all, uh, scheduled with everything, uh, dealing with a lot, just, uh, found out, um, this afternoon that, uh, a relative passed away. I'm not going to go too much into detail. One, because, you know, I'm, it's just, I'm still working, uh, through things and through my emotions. So I don't want to talk too, too much about it because I <laughs> try to remain strong. All right. Um. Uh, <clears throat> so, I'm saying, like I said, I'm not saying that because I want sympathy. Definitely, that's not why I'm talking about it. But I want to let you guys know that there is a good chance you will pro like this is probably going to be the last video for a while. It's not to say that I probably won't um, do any videos. They probably just won't get uploaded. And if they do, then hey, it is what it is. But, um,. But yeah, uh, kind of going through it, uh, and just working through <laughs> these yeah uh, these emotions and all that good jazz. So, um, so I want to let you guys know that I I'm gonna be off the radar. Definitely, definitely going to be off the radar and just trying to uh, soak everything up. Uh, about to submit my leave, and I will be Chicago bound. Um, Hopefully next week. Uh, I don't know if they're going to try to do the burial this weekend. If they do, then you know, hey, it is what it is. Whoever is doing the planning, I will respect it. But um, hopefully the funeral is uh, next week. And um, yeah, um, I hopefully I'll be there. I mean, if not, it is what it is. Um, I'll still have my morning. Um, so yeah, let me let me stop because I know I'm rambling, and I know that if I keep going, that I'm actually gonna sit here and fucking cry on, on camera. So thank you guys for rocking with me. As y'all know, me being gone, like I said, if I don't have if I don't have it in me to do the videos, 
y'all know I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna sit here and we gonna sit, it's gonna be a multiple upload when I get back. All right, so you ain't gotta worry about that. So thank you guys for rocking with your boy. Thank you guys for understanding uh, this set and the third. And um, yeah, I will uh, see you guys on the next video whenever that may be. All right. So thank you. I love all of you. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. And uh, yeah, just keep me lifted up in prayer. Peace.